داره آره این ماشین وای خیلی It's the right thing to do. And it's the only thing I have control over, 100%. Not only, but this, what I eat, if I'm gonna work out, that's all based upon 100% me. So I try to make good choices every chance I get. And since this is my money maker, and I really enjoy taking care of my skin. It's just a no-brainer at the end of the day to just give yourself a little piece of heaven. Look at it, look at it. Don't they look good? Okay, I had to adjust my screen. Um, I think that my skin feels okay to do my whole regimen. So I just washed with my hydrating botanical cleanser. Now I'm gonna use my brightening pad. I have a very advanced regimen, but it's like making any good recipe, right? You need a lot of different ingredients to make a really good product. Not a lot of different ingredients, but different ingredients do different things right so the brightening pads is going to brighten my skin keep my skin even and i'll make sure i focus on something to keep my skin even um, and help with dark spots in the morning regimen and a nighttime regimen okay so brightening pads is what i just use i'm gonna wait for that to dry so yeah i'm just constantly cycling on and off products so exfoliate my skin and come back off of it exfoliate it come back off of it treated i had a little breakout like one pimple right here but i have been going to the coffee shop over there and we discovered a new treat over there there are some oatmeal pies somebody making like from scratch and she, she called it vegan to make you feel good about it but it's so delicious and we had one yesterday and we had one the day before we didn't have one today because we didn't want to be too fat but we're gonna have one tomorrow <laughs> so i think like the second day in the room when i had this my body was like bitch uh -uh. and so you have to listen okay so i didn't have one today but I'm, I'm gonna have one tomorrow right so back to what i was saying about the brightening pads you have to make sure you're using different ingredients to brighten and even up the skin and that's what i focus on morning and night in the regimen and i'm gonna use my I'm going to actually use a retinol complex tonight. That just means it has some pretty powerful anti-aging ingredients. And it's a complex because it's three different things, which is retinol peptides, which are proteins that make the skin look and feel younger. And bakuchiol, which is also for anti-aging and brightening the skin. So this is what I'm going to use next. And you don't need a lot with retinol. I literally need this one pump that's it and then take it and just dot it all over we don't want this under the eye area the eye has its own product that skin is not the same so we don't care for it the same okay do we need eye product we do because our skin is thinner the skin is drier our skin wrinkle the skin show all your business when you're tired <laughs> when your allergies honking and having you not feeling good and miser miserable with hay fever and shit all of that shows under your eyes so anytime you're using something on your skin that exfoliates such as retinol glycolic acid salicylic acid benzoyl peroxide you don't want to use that under the eye area it has its own stuff and i'm gonna let you see what that is okay so this is what my skin looks like after I've used this product. It's called Revive 2.5% because it is, that's the strength of it, okay? And I always start like Drake from the bottom. And then if we need to, we work it up. But I like to use a lower percentage on products so we can use them more frequently versus using the strongest thing, the highest percentage. Your skin does not like that. Your skin likes gentle U-turns, like on the maps, like when possible, make a U-turn. It don't like that, you know, that sharp U-turn shit, okay? So you have to be gentle to the skin. 
and I like to use products um, that has a lower percent, whatever percent that we we get to that's giving us results, we stay right there. We don't need to go up and up. We can't do that with our skin because it's, it don't like that. It's gonna get mad, it's gonna get irritated and infl um, inflammation will start in the skin or inflammation happens when it, when, um, it gets upset and inflammation equal hyperpigmentation and you don't want that, okay? This next thing, uh, Mm -hmm. This next product is something that I am working on bringing to my line. It's a skin brightener. You can't have too much stuff to brighten your skin. It's radiation out there. It's radiation and dumb people, okay? So anything that to brighten your skin, you need it, okay? So they stay away from your light. They be blinded by your light, okay? This looks pretty good, huh, y'all? Yeah, this looks really good. It feels good. It layers well. Back to what I was saying about the ingredients. That's what I was saying. Let's see if it's going to roll. Do I feel something? Is it rolling with the rest of my products? You're going to sleep? Yeah, I'm sleeping. <laughs> I just want to know. Oh, if I'm going to sleep? Yeah. Oh. Put up. Yeah, put it up. Okay. Thank you. What am I feeling right here? I don't see anything, but but otherwise it looks really good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna have another product to be out of someone's budget. Oh gosh. Yeah, this is nice. It feels good too. Okay. There's another skin brightener in here. Pore refining. That's nice. Okay. So next thing I'm going to do is hydrate the skin because hydrated skin looks better, feels better, and it's going to function better. And this is a product also of mine to call HA Boost Hyaluronic Acid. That sounds like it's a really intimidating word, hyaluronic acid. But all it does is it hydrates the skin. Okay, so when you see hyaluronic acid, think hydration. And because hydrated skin feels better, looks better, and function better, we I just don't have no problem with going overboard with it. Because I'm also using these acids on my skin, retinol is really good for anti-aging, but it also decreases oil in the skin. And I know how I like my skin to look, so I always follow up with that HA Boost the same night I use retinol, just to kind of offset what it's gonna do, because I already know, I be, I be um, what you call that? I'll be prepared. Prepared, yeah. Um, eye product is next because I'm wrapping this up. So yeah, back to what I was saying about all these products. They layer really well and you need different products to do different things, okay? Not everybody do the same thing in the house. Not everybody do the same thing on the team, on, on, in the regimen, in the recipe. So you need different products to address different things. And it's not an all-in-one product. I'm so... Sorry that somebody that made y'all think that there's this magical all-in-one product. That's not true. Just think about how these people have fed us. They have sped up everything for us so they so we can work more. It's all uh, it's that's what it's all about. We don't take care of our hair, we don't take care of our skin, we don't take care of our body, we don't do shit, we don't cook for ourselves, we don't do nothing but hurt, get, go to work, 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 work. Okay, so there's not an all-in-one product. You got to take some time and care for yourself, okay? Like, really think about it. This be the most, I don't know what's wrong with this, y'all. Okay, this be the most asinine shit. Huh? We, be being, we be neglecting our body to go to work and to work more. And for people at work to stress us more. And we got one body. I'm the friend that tell you quit your goddamn job, okay? So, because I am not gonna, I don't believe in, in long suffering, okay? I don't believe in long suffering. The shit not working out. You can't just be busting your head on something and um, trying to make stuff work and it don't. And you didn't did, I didn't seen this layoff with a bunch of nurses maybe what, two weeks ago now? I dedicated 25 years of my life and they just let me. You ain't wash your face, take care of your hair, don't then do nothing, then 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 exercise, then eat right, then spend time with your family on vacation and nothing. And they they cut you like anything, anything, okay? So you might as you might as well wash your goddamn face. <laughs>
we might as well do that okay so i'm gonna put this on for dramatic effect but this is like a mist that it's from my skincare line it has green tea like a bunch of antioxidants vitamin c it's a nice mist right but i like to put it on and then put some of my moisturizer called nourish put that on and then i put a little bit over that right just so i can be extra radiant for night night bentley the dog's in my room bring him You want some skincare? Come on. See, I want to be knowing what you're doing. You're a big piece of cantaloupe to get to go to sleep. A oh, we got more cantaloupe? Uh-huh. You want me to cut you some? I do. Come on. Go to the go away. Give me a big piece. Come on. Okay, y'all. I'm finished. Big piece. For the night. Mm. So, another thing I'm going to do, because I did Red Doll on my face, I am also going to treat my neck area because we can't be looking good <laughs> from this up, right? So there's this cream that I use. It's like a retinol alternative just to tighten that neck up. Tighten it up. Again, we can't use the same strength of product that I use on my face, on my neck. So this is a really nice alternative to it. What is this called? Yeah, it's a natural retinol alternative. So yeah, you gotta take care of your, take care of your decollete. This is what it's called, your decollete. Okay, and that's it. Done for the night. I'm gonna put a little bit of moisturizer over this. Another thing, too, you can also treat the tops of your hands, too, because that shows a aging. I treat the tops of my hand with retinol, with my vitamin C, with moisturizer. Um, and I do good sometimes with being consistent about that. I'm not going to lie. But this here tch, tch, uh, takes care of it. Okay. But you can also use the brightening pads on hyperpigmentation under your arm and your groin area. Um, I'm gonna do like a whole series, not series, a whole video on how to use my products on other places of your body. Okay, my products you can use a lot of different spots. And we get hyperpigmentation in a lot of different areas on our body that we want to dress and we want um, care there, you know? Um, and so another groin area is a really high uh, interest area about when clients talk about body and hyperpigmentation now i even had something let me see it's getting better and then it started getting ratty again but yeah this looks way better let me moisturize you child because i i did the i did the most with it it was a little small pimple and then i started over treating it right here with retinols and all kind of shit and then it made it hyperpigmentated not a word just made it up but it left a lot of pigment down here. So I've been using my products down here to, to get it cleared. The thing is, when the when the breast creases, then that's a warm, dry, I mean moist, 